Hey guys, I am back with my final Lego Harry Potter. Ages 6, 7 through 14. My bad. Set number 4867 Hogwarts or Battle for Hogwarts. 466 pieces. And there's your box, the characters on the side, which I will show later. And here's the back of the box. So I almost knocked over the set. And then it also shows something very cool, which I will show in my... I'm going to do an all LEGO Harry Potter 2011 sets, like I did for the 2010 sets, and I'll show these two connected. So that should be pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. I do care for my boxes, but I just have to throw it because I'm laying down. So, <laughs> just if you're wondering. Here's the manual. Small, one manual. Kind of for two okay just kidding but it is 78 pages if I remember correctly yep and I will put that to the side I broke something and I will show the minifigures you uh, here I'll just do these ones first uh, you get Harry Potter with his wand and then you get Professor Sprout which looks very nice with her dress and you get a, another Dementor which I have three now so that's pretty cool and then I will switch the back nice tan hat on her and she has back printing and yeah we have Neville Longbottom right here. And next to him is Professor Lupin. Or, I guess he's not, you know, he's a uh, guy from the third movie or the third book that is a werewolf. Here is Goyle, uh, Malfoy's friend, which is very nice. To have another person in the Slytherin house to my collection. And here is Lucius Malfoy. And I don't need another one of him, but I have one. And he has the Death Eater mask, which is pretty cool. Which I think Lego should have did. Like, they should have did all the Death Eaters have, like, a reversible head with the mask. Like, Bellatrix and Greyback and... They should have more Death Eaters than just those three. But there's Lucius. Kind of. Then we'll to focus. Yep, it does. Thank you. And, yeah, let's start out with the set. And I will do... I'll explain this with the Dementor. So, here's the bridge. Oh, I guess you can... Turn... So here's the bridge, it's very nice. Under here there's like a little sewer system. Um, if you wanna play that out any way you want. And this is all interchangeable so you could have like the Great Hall um, right on there and then you can have like Dumbledore's office and then have these two towers somewhere else. Any way you want it, that's how these are set up. Um, right now I'm gonna show you this little gear trick back here that you turn and then it blows up the bridge and then it has this fire and it's pretty cool it works with this little turning thing back here which I'll show you uh, in a couple minutes so I'm gonna set this down so I can pull off one of the towers and I'll do the tower that you build first and I can do this without breaking it and then we have tower number one which is very nice matches Hogwarts Castle because this is supposed to be Hogwarts Castle this is where the tower where Dumbledore got killed by Snape and fell down to the ground which they didn't do anything to help him they just let them, him fall which is very nice little rocks I think this is supposed to be kind of like on the water where the water hits the rocks and stuff and then they had like the bridge that's just what I think Lego did and then under here you have your little sewer system where you can hide the Death Eaters getting ready for the students to go to sleep so they can wreak habit on Hogwarts. 
And here's Gryffindor Commandry with two beds, which is pretty cool. So they added a Commandry. I know they had like the little lounge room in the Hogwarts Castle, if you remember that. And then here they have like the beds, and which is very nice with Gryffindor colors. And then you can uh, also, I bet you could recreate this tower if you bought a second set, and then like you could switch out the colors to um, black and green to make Slytherin if you wanted to, and then there's like a blank space, so you could take out the bed and do whatever you want in there. Up here, here's a little... I would think it's like another extension to the, um, observatory, um, and then, because there's like the earth, so you can like look up at the stars at night time, I guess, yeah, it spins, it's a new glow pieces, also in the captain's cabin that I reviewed, which is very nice. So it's kind of nice to have like a mounted one in the building. And then up here, here we have a little classroom, I guess. I think this is for um, uh, whatever class, I think. I don't know. There is a crystal in there. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can get it out. Yes, I can. There's a crystal right there, like a crystal ball. And then this is my second crystal ball piece, so I'm happy. And then we have two cups on the side to drink or do potions and look at your future. So there's tower number one. And then we'll switch over here to tower number two. Again, I will set this down and I'll also show you the interchangeable thing. Or you can just pop this out without breaking it. That it's kinda easy, kinda not at the same time. They kinda did a good job with this one than they did on Hogwarts. But here's tower number two, has a nice ledge. Again, the rocks and the towers. I think I like how they made the towers match and didn't have like two different types of towers, so it's pretty cool. So in here, I'm thinking that this is a mirror or a cabinet, one of the two. I think it's a mirror because it like um, slants down like that. So I'm thinking it's, yeah, I think it's a mirror. But it's a very nice mirror. It's on like a trapdoor thing. It's in other sets. We go down here to our very first classroom, which is very cool. Um, I guess it's like a tutoring classroom because it only has one chair and one jockboard, and it can only fit like two people. So maybe Harry needs some extra tutoring. Is he? Maybe he is a little stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah. So there's the inside of the classroom. As you can see, there's some poisons and potions and uh, ink pen and ink. And yeah, it's a nice classroom, nice open size, but you can take some stuff out there, add some stuff, turn that to the side, and really nice play features. And Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sorry for the inconvenience of the memory drop, but they gave you this blank room so you can do whatever you want with it, whether it's adding an extra room or just leaving it open for a hallway. And here's another sewer. So that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to head off there with this review, with my final Harry Potter review. It'd be awesome if you liked the video to click the thumbs up button, and if you really, really liked it, to favorite and subscribe. So thank you, and have an awesome day on YouTube. And yeah, goodbye.